Hey what is going on you guys my name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and today we are going to be doing something really good today. I mean something really good and something really new. Now with that said I am just going to be building a cool new house. And we have been building some new houses for a while now so that gets pretty complacent pretty fast. But right now we are building something new for someone. So please take notes with everything that I am going to be doing today. So just make sure that whatever I am doing right now will be something that you can learn a thing or two from and then we can go on and go out and about so that we can actually finish this thing today. Now you can see that we are using like a lot of dark wood and dark colors like some obsidian like Colobsidian from the Black Order and that kind of stuff because I really feel like that is something that fits with a beach house right now. So a beach house in my opinion and in my mind is just something light like a color like this and a lot of open space. I mean a but load of that because that really makes it feel cool and fresh you know. It has been a weird couple of days with all of that Thanos whatever that has been happening the other day so I thought to myself like, well I need some alone time right now. Why does this always happen to me man? I really do not understand it. It is like someone is trying to make me feel bad. So today I am going to be combining these two ideas of mine. One is the cool part, and two is the house part. And this is not just a house. No this is a house for a buddy of mine and I really think that this should be ending up pretty cool. Also I really want to tell you who the house is for, but I am not sure if I can already say that. Hold on a second I will look at me editor real quick. And he is waving at me saying that it is okay to tell you guys who the house is for. I mean right now I just feel like I am in that one house show where they completely revamp someone their house and they have to yell move the bus or something like that. All right. So that does not matter. But the house is actually for a noob. And a very rich one I must add. He is called Tony Stark. Alright so guys please forgive me right now for what I am doing with this thing here. Because I literally have no idea what I am doing right now. This is just some on the fly thinking right here. Because I literally have no idea how to use all of this. So if you have any sort of tips and tricks for me. Well it will always be welcome of course. But right now I do not really have enough time to go look for some tutorials. Because. I will really need to make sure that no one finds me in this hole. I mean no one will find me right. I told that him to just go away a couple of minutes ago so I hope that he respects that instead of following me or coming back with like a group of guys or something. Because I usually get intimidated pretty quick and I am like a turtle. I will need a shell so that I can hide in there. And right now I do not have a shell so this is basically my shell right now. I will have to make sure that I can get through this otherwise I will not have my shell for whenever more people show up. And then well that means that it is time to panic for me. It was like when you make a move in chess and just as you take your finger off the piece, you see the mistake you've made. And there's this panic because you don't know yet the scale of disaster you've left yourself open to. Just like Thanos. This literally describes what I am doing right now. That was a quote by the way from an author called Kazuo Ishiguro. I probably butchered the pronunciation on that name but that does not matter right now. What matters is that this is a chess game and I am running out of plays to make. And I really do not want this one to end in a loss or a stalemate because I will not be able to handle any one of those. I will be needing a decisive victory right here so that I can finally get some rest. Because well you might have noticed because of the way that I am acting right now but I have not slept since the day that my house got blown up. I mean the time that Harambran was sleeping in my bed, well that does not make it any easier to close your eyes. And I mean I still shut my eyes but all I can see is what my house used to be before it got blown up by that guy. But that is in the past and I really do not like to think about that. I mean I could go on dwelling about whatever has happened but I would rather focus on what is coming up. So basically what is coming up right now for me, well that is this guy that just jumped into his new home a couple of minutes ago. Or actually not a couple of minutes ago, but rather in the future. I really should not be telling you all this much about this project, but that is okay. I mean I cannot just go ahead and treat all of this like I know what I am doing because I really do not know what I am doing at all. I mean I am just winging all of this right now because I feel like I otherwise regress and that is not something that I want to do. I really want to put in the ever forward mindset because I feel like moving forward and progressing is the best thing that you can do whenever you feel like you are stagnating and feeling complacent. So I really just want to move on right here and get moving so that I can actually finish this and not end up being a complete disappointment right now right here. So let's just hope for the best now. Okay well of course I will have to get out of this right. So you know this thing will not work. 
because I cannot just leave my house unlocked like that otherwise those darn strangers will definitely be showing up again. So I will need to find something new that will work instead of this. So I guess that this will work right. I mean there is no way that anyone would be suspicious of just some bald rocks around this place. I mean it might look like a dump but that is the point right? Who would go looking for me at a dump? So I guess that will work out. Wait what in the world is that? Is that a freaking camera? What is that guy doing? Oh my god alright I have already been spotted while my house is not even finished yet. Well I guess it is time to move again. So shall we just move on then? So as you can see the night is already falling and we are nowhere near close right now. I mean this is just not something that I do on a day to day basis so I might be a little bit slow right now. So just forgive me for that please and stick with me until the bitter end please you guys. This is going to be hard. But it is just something that I will have to cope with until everything right here has all been sorted out. And I can tell you that when the day comes I am going to be celebrating so hard that it actually is pretty insane to myself. I mean I am going to be excited like crazy once I am all done with this thing. Because I just think that after all this time that I just deserve a little break from everything right now. I mean we have been through a lot the last couple of months. As you may remember, the fact that Christmas ended was just a really big setback for me because I just love working under the spell of Christmas and underneath the spell of the mistletoe. So to not have that anymore is just a big blow for me personally. But I had to get through that. That, and I did get through that quite successfully. But that was the point where all of the noobs game tagging along and starting invading all of my personal space. And I know that all of this sounds really familiar and stuff. And to be honest, the last couple of months I have just been a broken record running over and over and over again. Well oh my god I am not sure what I have just unleashed but I can tell you that these are a lot of cool things man. But you know I guess the maid will clean all of that up because I will need some more time to experiment with all of these things before I actually end up having to get arrested or anything for doing this. Usually you can only fool around with explosives on the 4th of July but since that is not today and neither is it New Year's Eve so I could probably get busted for doing this but you know if that is what I have to do to fight for my freedom then I will be glad to do anything right now because I am not backing down right now I will be the one who will come out on top of this today I will make sure that once I build my new house there will be no one around of my please that is able to destroy everything that I have worked so hard for or maybe I should just let some of these things go off and just put everything ablaze that actually might be the way to go with this But then again I really just want to be like Thanos and do good because I came here the other day and some freaking noob came around and he was not that bad but it just gave me a lot of stress and I did that thing with the Avengers which was also pretty freaking stressful and anxiety inducing. So you know I came here and decided to do something about my little problem by getting rid of the stress and anxiety by blowing some stuff up and by finding a way which would keep all of those noobs at bay when I am around here. That is just the ugly truth. I am sorry if it sounds like really harsh but if this is what I have to do to finally be on my own in my own Minecraft world then I will be okay to do all of this right now and I will be bearing the consequences of course. Because that is just who I am as a person. That is just amazing for me but also for science. I will have to write all of my findings down so that I can make sure that there will be things getting done with all of this. This is just crazy my man. Now I will just start blowing things up because you know how it is. I just want to blow things up next to being an amazing science man. I am also just a freaking boss when it comes to these things. So I don't know about you guys but this is going to get pretty mental. I am not really sure what to expect from this but I bet that it is going to be really Really hard. I have seen a couple of videos where people fought these mobs and it looked really hard to me. But it looked like they were all lucky enough to get back to their home. So I hope that this will happen to me as well. And otherwise you know, someone will probably have to come find me. I just hope that I do not get killed or kidnapped or something. And some creep finds me and he locks me up in his basement and he will keep me for all eternity. I am not really about all of that. So I just hope that I get straight back to my home so that my friend can literally love me. That is probably the funniest thing about all of this. The fact that I am going to get loved. But yeah. I am hopeful that all of this will go right at the first try and otherwise I will have no idea what will happen to me if someone finds out that I am actually inside of that house. So let's just hope that I do not get beaten but you maybe be wondering right now like, 
Well sub what in the world are you doing right now? Just doing something reckless like building a watch like this. Just out of pure boredom. Well yes and no. I mean kind of yes, but really no. I mean there have been a lot of people trying to build good stuff lately. And even though I made a really cool video on how to make a nice furnace and such. By the way you should definitely go ahead and check that out because it was literally amazing. But as I was saying, yes we are going to be doing something a little bit different than that. Because right now we are going to go into a more typical slash classical Ben 10 style so this is actually pretty fun for now. I mean I would have never thought that this was the way that this game would would take me so I guess that is some kind of a learning experience now that I can actually see what is going on inside of this new world but I mean these monsters are going fast and they are pretty reckless no wonder they always lose stuff or get killed by the sunlight I mean would you just look at this dump I bet that once I am done with these Avengers that I will be the one who comes out on top laughing at them so it looks like we are about to be done with this thing and it will be fully operational but would you just look at the size of this thing it is insane I mean I have been to New York and other big cities and the fact that those buildings and skyscrapers are so high is insane but this thing well this is just something else for a change usually like with the enhanced swords and stuff it was just two blocks wide well this thing is not messing around oh no I took a wrong freaking step well that is a bummer I guess dead people cannot use a freaking diamond head that is why we are able to respawn in the beautiful world of Minecraft. I mean I would be so pissed if I actually ended up dying and to just not be able to use this thing then. Well that would be a huge bummer. But we are not completely done. But I will be needing some protection so this cool gauntlet. Well it is awesome you guys and then we can finally start to figure out what kind of things we can actually start using and filming and freaking rad up with this thing it is like we have reinvented the freaking wheel but instead of the wheel we morphed into a cool freaking thanos and instead of reinventing it we just made a bigger freaking version of a normal gauntlet that is awesome i am just in all right now i would have never thought that i would actually be able to become something that looks this majestic but you know how it is Beggars cannot be choosers. But today we have shown that we are not mere beggars. No we have shown the people that we are a force to be reckoned with. So behold the mighty diamond head. Bow for it or you will be regretting it for the rest of your mortal life. Because this thing will be standing here even when you are long gone. As long as it can feast on items to use it and finish things and for the rest well it really does not care about anything we just need something to put into it so that it has something to actually do instead of just hanging around here but like i said that does not matter one bit because i will be personally making sure that we can do this and that we are actually able to do some cool enough stuff to end poverty and world hunger but of course we need a lot of items for that so that will basically become my life's goal to make sure that this universe will be running and finishing stuff until the end of time and then it will still be going on and it will be making people happy because now people can finally get the stuff that they want. And of course mass production is really big these days so I guess that a diamond this size would possibly help with that. But of course we will be needing to make sure that this cool freaking spinner will not be used by the wrong people. And by the wrong people I mean the people who are willing to melt and cook it that will hurt people. So just to make weaponry and that kind of stuff. I mean weapons are cool and stuff. But once you give a gun to a guy who has been having thoughts about shooting someone, well you know that might not actually be the smartest thing ever to do. Do you guys remember one of the last adventures we had where I snapped my fingers that sent us off into outer space and stuff and I was just all like, Let's just hope that no one actually saw the fact that I was the one to push the do not snap button and that might have been a mistake on my end but I mean why would you put a glove like that in this game and then put me in said game and then put a sign over it that says do not snap that is like the sole reason why I snapped the darn thing and that is because I am a little bit of a rebel so sometimes I just cannot contain myself and I just end up doing something really stupid that I should not have done but like I said I remain to say that I am not the one at fault here since they just did not have to put a sign like that there with a gauntlet like that and there would have been no problems at all I mean come on who comes up with something like that there is just no way that I was any bit faulty or guilty in that offense I mean I might have snapped the finger back then but for the rest of my life I am going to be with me and I don't want to spend my life with someone who is always critical. So I am going to stop being my own critic like these godlike things. It's high time that I accept all the great things about me. And these people will be here to test that.